everyone, it's Dona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I hope you have a cup of coffee because this is gonna be a really long one. I even put the chipmunk voice in to try to speed it up a little bit, but it's still long. So get yourself a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, or something to drink, glass of water, or anything that you like. Nice comfy chair. Nice comfy chair, and if you like to crochet or knit, go right ahead, you can do that, because I talk a lot, and so you, you can, if you want to peek every now and then, you can peek every now and then. But if you're riding in your car, it's a good video for that too because I tell you what you're seeing through the whole thing. If you're vision impaired, you'll, you'll know what you're seeing because I tell it. And you can tell I'm getting tired of it. And so let's just go to the video because it is really long. We decided to go out for a little bit. So out we go. Look at the pretty little flowers growing right outside his door in the post. Oh, it's chilly. They said it's 54, but it doesn't feel like 54. It feels like 34. This air is cold. The winter is still in the air, apparently. But it will feel good to get inside the warm car. There's Mr. Jim. I don't know if you can see him. It's kind of bright. Kind of, yeah. Kind of. There's Mr. Jim. Hello. Hello. I could turn you around and you can see me. Hi, everybody. It's Nona Grace. Yeah, and we're in the warm, warm car. It's so nice in the car. Oops, turn that off, yep. It's so warm in the car, yes. Well, we're gonna take a little ride. I don't know where we're gonna go, but we're gonna take a little ride. Oops, I should put my seatbelt on. Oops, I forgot. Hold on. Thank you. Okay, I'm connected. I don't know if we're both in there or not. Let me see. How am I gonna see that? You can't see it. I can't see it. Oh. See what this mirror says. It doesn't say anything. Oh well. I don't know if we're in it or not. That's all right. I'll turn it so you can see where we're going instead. Because I can't tell if we're in the mirror or not. I mean in the viewer, viewfinder or not. We'll just take a little ride. Carol from the Plain Vanilla Grandma asked how I went walking or did the thing without making it wobbly. And what it is is it's a GoPro that I'm using and it's got a stabilizer built in so it feels like everything is smooth even when I'm bouncing around, which I'm bouncing around a little bit right now, but you would never know because my stabilizer is working. At home we have white trees too, but not with blossoms. Look at all the blossoms on that tree. I don't know if you can see the tree very good. We're taking you to a consignment store. It's right there is our sign. It's a mission World. store. World. Worldwide Missions Mission. Consignment Store. There's the tree, a lovely tree with the blossoms. We don't have any blossoms in our area. There they are, all the trees with the blossoms instead of snow. I think I can get us both in. We'll see how well I'm doing when I, oops, when I um, edit this. We had a hard time finding this the first time we came. We didn't realize it was behind the mall and it looks like a big old warehouse which we figured it was a big warehouse, but didn't know it was going to be in a junky area where you find it. In fact, there's a lot of semi-trucks and stuff just before it, or just after it. I'll show you. Who would think it was down here? I wouldn't think it was down here, but this is where you have to go. Thank goodness we found it. It's a huge, huge, huge um, place. It's got lots of rooms in it and lots of stuff. We'll try to show you some of it. Worldwide Missions Consignment Store. It's huge. Entire stock is 50% off. Wow. That's pretty good. Okay. We have to get our masks. I think they might need them. I don't know. Most likely. The state is going to make it not mandated after the 6th. Only the places that say that you have to have one will have to have one. Yep, it must be you have one. That man's got one on. And that lady's got one on. So, yeah, she's got really pink hair. Wow. Really hot pink. Do they have hot pink hair? Mm -hmm. I just have to buy it. Okay. And here we go. I was just looking to see where you were. Okay. Face mask required. Okay, we'll wear our shield. We don't have a mask mask because shield. Where was my countdown? I didn't see it. Well, yeah, that's okay. Oh, okay. Well, we're walking through a consignment store, and this is 
t um, number three time of saying what we're doing. And you're seeing pretty dresses, really pretty dresses. And then I think, oh, yeah, they have wedding dresses here, too. I should show you that. So I walked over to where the wedding dresses used to be, and I find that they have built a wall. So now they're on the other side of the wall. But you can still sort of see them. They're right there. There they are. So if you really needed a wedding dress, you could afford one here. And then I'm showing you pictures way up above the clothes. And there's tons and tons of clothes. Look at all that. And everything they said was half price. So that meant if you were going to pay a dollar, you'd pay 50 cents. If you were paying two dollars, you'd pay one dollar. And I now am showing you the main, bil main part of the building. It has a lot of glassware in there. Tons and tons of glassware. Walked around every little table, sort of. There's so much to see, you would never be able to do it. You'd have to go there every day for a while, and then you still probably wouldn't see everything that you wanted to see. If I was looking for something specific, it would have been great, but I had nothing in mind. I'm not a big shopper. I show you the lamps. I'm showing you now some glassware, lots of glassware. Then we're going to come to the wall of cups. The wall of cups used to have a lot more cups there. There's not that many there this time. There's a lot, but not as many as there used to be. The last time I was there, there was a lot more. That whole side of the room was, was cups, and now it's not. Then we're walking past some pretty furniture that they had in there. There used to be a lot more furniture, unless I missed it. I don't know. Then we're going to come to a table that has a calendar block on it. And I looked at the calendar block. I do have a small one at home. That's a calendar block. And then I'm going to bring you over to the cookie jars after the welcome sign. Look at these cookie jars. Aren't they the cutest? There's like a set of five. And then there's a napkin holder there too. And now we're going to look at this cute little dog. Look at this dog. That is cute. There was a lot of cute things, but nothing that I need. I don't need any more knickknacks or stuff around my house. I've got enough stuff. I don't need any more. And then we're going to walk into the area where there's actually seasonal things. And you're going to see some of the... Halloween is on the far right. There's Halloween stuff over there. Then there's the 4th of July, and then there's the Easter, and you're going to see Valentine's Day, and then you're going to be walking past Christmas. We're coming to Christmas pretty soon. Oh, there's a bunch of bells there, but there's Christmas coming up. You'll see. There's Christmas. Where has Christmas gone? It's right here in the store. There's so much, so much to see. So, so much to see. And then after the, the Christmas things and the winter things, we're going past some Santa Claus. Then we're back into the, the cookware, and there's the George Foreman grills, and there's this um, Hamilton Beach thing, and there's lots of, lots of glassware, cookware. There used to be lots of pots and pans through here, but they've, it's changed a lot. There's not that there anymore. And then we're going to come to where there's the bedding, where you'll find bedspreads and you'll find sheets and you'll find pillowcases and they had drapes in there. Then there's more clothes, always lots of clothes. And then you're going to come to the wall of books. There are so many books here. Books galore, but there's no rhyme or reason to these books. You would have to spend a long time. If you're looking for a particular book or a specific topic, you'd have to stand there and go through every book. There's row after row after row. And then when you come to the end, you're not done. There's still more books. We haven't come to the end yet. We keep going. Keep walking. Walk a little further. I'm getting tired of telling this story. Can you tell? I have told this story three times. There's the other row of books. And then if you were to look on the other side, there'd be more books. But I didn't look on the other side, apparently. And then we walk down this aisle that has children's clothes and now shoes. Tons and tons of shoes. There's so many shoes here. You could have a shoe for every day of the year if you really wanted to, if they fit you. Then on the other side that I'm going to pan in a second. There we go. Those are baby clothes. And the machine is acting funny again, so I'm going to stop it and see what happened. I checked what was wrong, and it was the thing had stopped. Well, now you're just looking at stuff. Lots of stuff. I have no idea what this stuff is, but except the girl's, girl boss is good. Then we're going to come to a baby sign that would have been hanging on a baby's door, and it says, Shh, behind this door, children are recharging. 
In other words, they're taking their naps, so let's be quiet. And then I look at this thermometer. I think this is a thermometer, and apparently it's not working because it should have said the temperature of the room, and it didn't. It, it had it way down at the bottom. It should have said at least 70 in there or 60-something, but it didn't. Then there was junk, a lot of junk, a lot of things with parts and pieces, and if you were missing something, you probably could find it if you knew what you were looking for. Lampshades, um, vacuum cleaner things, kitchen items. They even had drills and power tools on another aisle that I went down, but I probably didn't show that. I don't know. I, we saw so much stuff, lots and lots and lots of stuff. And then there was some ribbons and crafting things. We saw a lot of that. And then Jim tells me, I have something for you, and let's go see. And there's the car. Staples, Party City. And there's lots of stores. And then on this side, there's Dick's there. Best Buy, Michael's uh, Guitar Center. Panera Bread. Oh, there's so Just much. Nails. Winery store. We don't have any of these kind of stores. We'd have to drive at least an hour to get to them. Whereas these are like really close to his house. Really it's like close. Five minutes. I know it. go into a Michael's store says his light changes. It, there's a lot of red lights here too. Whereas our town has one red light and it's a real quick one. And it's the red lights here have right or left turn signal that goes on then they go straight and then they go left turn the other direction and then straight through. And there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of. A lot of waiting time. Yeah. Well, here we go. And we're now at Michael's. I'm gonna go see what they have. Did I buy anything at Michael's? No, I didn't see what I really wanted. I know, I'm not a shopper, that's why. Now, we're on our way to Walmart. We have to get more half and half because I will run out before my visit is done. It's a long walk to the other one. It's the huge store. joys of automation. It'd be easier if there was a person sitting here. And you give them the code and they punch it in. But no, it's got to be automatic. Yeah, Mary. Yep. Okay, thank you. You too. Well, where's the horn? Okay. Get to watch us get washed. 
I figured your car was so dirty, we might as well do it. Get rid of some of the salt. Here comes the brushes. Have you ever been through a car wash? I have years ago. I haven't been through one in forever. <laughs> this is kind of neat. On that movie, it was car wash with the windows down. I don't think uh, so. No, I don't think so. We'd be soaked. My windshield, huh? Joys are the best. Oh, now it's gonna come back. Rain on you. Now it's now it's rinsing us. Oh, that's good. Wonder if it blows us dry or something. Drive through slow. Look at the bird poop, is, there's just a smidge just right a smidge. there. Not enough to say so. So now you can see through my windshield real well. Yay! Now we go on to a Dollar Tree is what I want to go to. I see all these Dollar Tree halls. I'd like to go to a Dollar Tree and just kind of look through and see what it says. She says turn right. So I guess we'll turn right. Here comes people out of the store. And the United States Post Office is right there in Family Dental. My destination we just passed. <laughs> now it's on my right. There we are. Once again, unsuccessful. I don't know, they don't have anything that I want. My face shield back. And Jim's got all the, you've got all the, huh? It looks real clean. Ooh, look at how nice. What a difference. That car wash did pretty darn good for sitting there and enjoying. And there's the bug spot. Right there, I don't know if you can see it or not. Well, we're back. Walk back to the apartment. Thank you. You got the stuff and I get you get the door. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.